The rain we're seeing now is nothing compared to where we are going. This is earlier today. Take a look at all of the roiling water out here in the Shell Beach area. So all the wind energy going in here, it's just a sloppy swell right now, but it is going to build. There's going to be a lag between the storm system and the highest surf, which actually arrives tomorrow. Classic comma shape, a huge storm. You may have heard the term bombogenesis or bomb cyclone. This is one of those. It just means that the area of low pressure deepens really, really quickly. This has cold air, big cold front, and an atmospheric river component. It's already showers turning into heavier rain in Northern California. You can see how it turns red and yellow there. That's moving our direction eventually. So the worst of the storm is not here yet. Rain rates up to an inch and a quarter per hour for several hours. So I've upped my mountain rainfall potential in some isolated areas up to 10 inches and of course the winds are there as well that can exacerbate all of this thunderstorms are possible and utility outages are possible as well so this is going to follow this frontal boundary which really doesn't get here until we get into say the seven eight o'clock time frame for san luis obispo county through about nine or ten and then between 10 or 11 and say three o'clock in the morning this front moves across santa barbara county where some of the worst is expected to happen because you've got the Santinez range, which actually runs from east to west, and we're going to see some of the winds smashing right into it. And it's going to be winds associated with the atmospheric river. Well, we're looking at areas again up to 10 inches across that area. What is an atmospheric river? It's basically a stream of air moving along at high speeds out over the ocean. It brings in the equivalent moisture to a river onto land and then you push it up into the mountain areas and you can squeeze incredible amounts of rain out of it. So our key concern here is if you put say six to 10 inches in areas where the land is not perfectly stable and somewhat saturated, which is the case here, we can see some sliding and some debris flow. So that is the big concern here as we move forward in the forecast. Do we actually see anything like this? That's why you have those advisories today. We're watching the radar. We'll march you through this coming up in a few minutes, including all of the advisories. And there are a few. Claudia, back to you.